Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango, here to start my Fate Grand Order Shimosa Let's Plays. So as you can see, I do have Tomoe. Link in the description for that video where I rolled for her. And I would just like to say that if you would like to support me, support the channel, I have a Patreon, link in the description, and I have a coffee, link in the description. Anyway, we are going to jump right to Shimosa. Uh, I have Tomoe at like level 60, I think, and... <laughs> I need Shimosa because they have the new material that she needs to level up, so it's like, well, I need to play Shimosa, so let's just begin. I'm very excited for this, actually. Um, I've heard interesting things about Shimosa, so... Like, I've not been spoiled on it, but I know some characters that are involved in this thing, so... Yeah, let's just start. A hawk cries out somewhere in the distance. And then it died. The end. <laughs> Roll credits! <laughs> okay. In Mount Kinbo's Regandu, yep, I'm gonna pretend I've pronounced that right, an old man awaits the final moments of his life committing seppuku. <laughs> no, swim puku. If you get that reference, good on ya. His name is Shinmen Musashi no Kami, Fujiwara no Haru Nobu. That is a mouthful. Which is to say, I'm speaking of myself, okay. Yes, I am Shimmen Musashi, one whose blade has spilled the blood of countless others. Perhaps I was once called Miyamoto Musashi at some point, but that doesn't matter now. Okay, I'm about to die. Goodbye, world. No, not yet. I refuse to sleep just yet. Alright. But isn't it... Uh, I don't know, isn't there like... <sighs> You see, the thing is, is that our Musashi's a woman, so this is confusing, but okay. Come on, eyes. Open up. Yes, that's it. I may well end up dying today or tomorrow, but it won't be right this instance. Patience. After all, my visitor has yet to arrive. Hmm. Now where was I? Oh yes, my blades. I killed quite a few people with them. Blades. They are tools for killing, for cutting and slashing human bodies. They they once referred to Tachi and Kanata. Uh, kan Kanata, yeah, that's how you say that? <laughs> anyway, now they refer to kat Katana and Wakizashi, yep. Katana, is it Katana? Katan ka ka yeah, okay. Blades are carried by soldiers, by warriors, by bushi. They could also be called samurai. Um, a variation of the word saburu, sa sabur, saburu, ah? yeah. Me, man, Japanese words are hard. <laughs> Meaning to serve, as they serve their masters. Saburu, sure. In any case, those who command these warriors are known as generals. A, dren a, gen <laughs> a general is like nothing so much as a master carpenter. He must know how to make use of every tool under his command in order to carry out his master's wishes. He must know how to make use of every tool at his disposal. As his disposal. Is it supposed to be at his disposal? I don't know. Uh, his disposal to carry out his master's wishes. Perhaps Mao Joe, yeah, that name, would have that smug, no expression about now? Yes, I imagine he would. Mago no Joe, Joe, jo, uh, that name's. I'm called Mago. Me? I'm hopeless. I didn't understand uh, anything. I didn't understand anything back when I was young. I just traveled the world, cutting down any who challenged me. I could never have hoped to be a general. At best, I would have ended up some minor commander bound for uh, bound for some tiny domain. How foolish. Yes, foolish. What point is there in being good with a blade? It is good for nothing but killing and maim ma maiming ma 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 maiming others? I've never heard that word in my life, I don't think. <laughs> Perhaps my life. Uh, might have been more worthwhile had I been a painter. 
No doubt Takada Matebe would laugh if he heard that. He would say I'm spouting nonsense in my old age. Yes, you're right, Matebe. It is far too late for me to allow myself to wallow in regret now. As if I would ever say something like that. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a bit of foolishness. I lived in a chaotic age where the screams of agony were common as a bird song. I have no regrets. I've spent my life whole, whole life cutting, slashing, slaughtering. Come then, fate! <laughs> ha, funny. Show me what my final moments hold! Spirits in heaven, forgive me for such fruitless dreams. Treat them as no more than the ramblings of an old man on death's door, and pay them no heed. Still, I have, the pre I have precious little time left. My eyes may close forever, even before the fateful moment arrives. <coughs> Well, this is troubling. How truly vexing. Gods. Buddha. At this point, I'll even take on, on an Oni. Take an Oni. Or a demon. Isn't an Oni a demon, though? Aren't they the same thing? Eh. Please, give me more time so that I may reach my destiny. I don't think I'll be able to do so in the bowels of hell. Okay, dude. Cool, not really. If that is impossible, then... Ah, uh, if only this world itself was a living... Well, it, only if this world were itself a living hell. Blech. Okay, dude. I guess you died. <laughs> oh, senpai! Speak of the devil. I was just heading to your room to look for you. I finally found something I've been trying to find for some time. What is that? Uh, what were you so keen to find, Mash? Oh, I wasn't looking for it for my sake. If anything, it's more to do with you, Senpai. Okay, I'm intrigued. Let me start at the beginning. Let's see. Senpai, you once said that you met Miyamoto Musashi, the famous swordmaster during a dreamlike experience, right? Yeah, yeah, that was a thing that happened in the- Yeah, 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 you're right. Um, yep, I sure did. Well, this concerns her too. Unlike the historical Miyamoto Musashi, this one you encountered was a woman, perhaps from a world of pruning theoretical phenomenon. Ph phenomenon? Yeah, that word. She may have been one who travels between worlds via some special means, or even living a human, uh, or even a living human rather than a heroic spirit. Whatever the case, that was Musashi. That was the Musashi you met. I found this very intriguing. I had nothing to go on, but with what you told me and the circumstantial uh, evidence. And there was one more thing, something that kept nagging at me personally. If Miyamoto Musashi has been split into two different people, one male, one female, there may be a reason for that. I mean, maybe? Of course, there are a fair number of heroic spirits with numerous what-if spirit origins re uh, registered here at Chaldea alone. Maybe that's the case with Musashi as well. Or maybe she's something completely different. Either way, I had to find out. When, okay, what'd you find, if anything? Uh, and did you find something, I mean? Yes! I couldn't have done it without the whole staff's help. What'd you find? Ah, uh, it was no big deal. There was all sorts of always accessible text formatted da data already saved to the standard uh, library. Unfortunately, image data of authentic original text isn't easy to find. As easy to find. But luckily, 
We recently happened across some that was saved to a standalone underground library. I think my heart skipped a beat when it first turned up. Though, after all... It is said to not look at it in the readme file. It said not to look at me in the readme file? <laughs> what? Okay, that's kind of funny. Still, I scanned it for viruses and it came up clean. So it should be alright. Probably just someone's idea of a practical joke. Anyway, I hope this image taken of the original manuscript uh, for the Book of Five Rings helps you two out. Later! Bye person thank you so much this is the book Musashi wrote yes this is the book that the Miyamoto Musashi who left his mark on our history wrote the female Musashi that you met had nothing to do with it okay for one thing she hadn't materialized as a servant right uh, she was just as strong as any servant, that's for sure. Moving between worlds while still alive. Alternate histories with the exact same name. A different version of the exact same person. Senpai, can you wait for a little while? There's something I want to try. If the Musashi you met was different from our history's Miyamoto Musashi, but she also had the same name and fought with two swords. Then we may be able to find something else they have in common, or maybe even some way in which they're entirely different in the manuscript. I know I'm grasping at straws, so I can't offer anything more definite right now, but... Uh... That's okay, I'll help you. Thank you, Senpai. Oh, hey, Kojo. Hmm, <laughs> So you were discussing the Book of Five Rings, were you? I really must say, it might be a, just a touch difficult to decipher it and to find a proper expert. Ah. Um, right, Musashi and Kojo are like peas in a pod. Oh, no. I may call myself Sasaki Kojiro, but who's to say if that is indeed who I truly am? No, I am a merely stick uh, waving samurai who stumbled onto this name. I have certainly you heard the name Miyamoto Musashi, but um, huh, I've never actually met him. Indeed, I have no connection to him whatsoever, for good or ill. Nonetheless, now that I go by Kojiro, I cannot ignore the mark that Shinmen Musashi has made upon the world. Knowledge of the Book of the Five Rings was bestowed upon me when I was summoned as a servant, whether I wished it so or not. As such, I know it quite well, though I cannot see how comprehensible its contents will be to you, Lady Sarah. Everything up to the book of the earth and the book of water can be interpreted li interpreted easily enough, but beyond that, it is more a book of riddles than a manual. Its final chapter, the book of the void, is nothing more than a scrap that lays Musashi's feelings bare. Nor are they described in tangible, material manner. Void discusses what lies beyond, the karmic laws one's eye can see. And the concept of zero, which, is the, which at the time was the very bleeding edge of Buddhist studies. This is all very interesting, but I kind of um, kind of just want to get to the singularity, but you know, whatever. Indeed, it reads more like a philosophical treatise created to help the reader accept his new way of thinking. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm afraid I completely forgot. Sasaki Kojiro! Uh, oh, I I'm sorry for getting carried away. I didn't mean to shout in your face like that. 
I just remembered that you showed up in the story about the famous duel on Gan Ryu Island. Of course, some say that story was just invented some years later, and you're also rather unique when it comes to heroic spirits. But, but that's exactly why I should have thought to ask you about it first. And yet, for some reason, it never even occurred to me until now. Huh? That's odd. It felt like my head was swimming in some kind of haze or something. Please, calm yourself, Lady Vanish. Take a few deep breaths. Make sure you're getting, you are getting enough oxygen. Now, may I ask what you meant, mean to do with the Book of the Five Rings? Do you mean to summon Musashi to Chaldea as well? No, not exactly. Uh, though I would like to see her again if I could, even though I have her <laughs> in my game, but, you know. Oh-ho. So you met a Miyamoto Musashi, but not the historical Miyamoto Musashi of our world. Rather, she is a woman with thin arms who wields two katanas, claims to be Musashi, and aspires to perfect her swordsmanship. Hmm. Fascinating. She sounds very much like me, and yet entirely different. I may be Sasaki Kojiro, but inside, I am merely a single manifestation of one of the many legends surrounding him. I am but the shadow of the moon, as reflected in a pool of water. But you say this mysterious Musashi you met is apparently THE Musashi, rather than one of his manifestations. In which case, did this female Musashi ever tell you this? No, I don't think so. Kojiro, you have lost. According to other sword masters, that is what Musashi said to Kojiro after the latter had, uh, latter had cast aside his scabbard of his own accord while awaiting Musashi on Ganryu Island. There are numerous, uh, numerous interpretations of their duel, but there are no lines more famous than this. As such, those words would prove that this Musashi was indeed who she claims. Perhaps you even came to believe she was Musashi because you had heard her speak that line, Lady Sarah. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't- she's still Musashi whether she said that or not. I don't think she did. Oh-ho. Oh-ho-ho. That complicates matters. Then I believe this female Musashi has yet to reach the void. Which may then make you the final piece of this puzzle, Lady Sarah. What? <laughs> Musashi was my most ephemeral ephemer rival, uh, a wielder of two katana, from whom Sasaki Kojiro had waited since time immemorial. There have been many great sword masters in Japan's history, but despite being flashy and controversial, none so well known and beloved as him. He was a brilliant martial artist with a nary with nary a loss to his name, Shinmen. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Musashi no Kami. Fujiwara no... Haru Nobu. That does sound like me. But I never dreamed I'd have the luxury of somebody overseeing it all to the end. Never thought things would turn out like this. Well, that was weird. But K. Senpai? Was that happening in my head or something? What was that about? You look pale. No, more than pale. You look ghostly white. Wait, this has happened before? Has it? Are you talking about that one thing? Uh-oh. <laughs> Great. What's wrong, Senpai? Senpai! Oh, I died. I'm dead. <laughs> senpai! Senpai! Please wake up, Senpai! Uh, what is all this commotion? 
It's, it's early. What's wrong, Mash? You seem awfully worked up. Why, you're pale as an oni. Oh, I see Master's collapsed in, collapsed in a heap. <laughs> I freaking, it's hard to try to re re recreate her voice. Anyway, um, she's out cold, isn't she? But don't worry, she's still got a pulse. We're neither too late nor too early. I shall go and fetch Lady Martha. Lady Mash, remain calm. Lady Doji, keep an eye on things. I'm dead. <laughs> I died. Well, it's not like she's dying or anything. Although, it does feel there's some kind of magical uh, energy here. Hmm, never mind. Guess it was just my imagination. Hey, Sarah, wake up. Or I'll start nibbling on you from head from the head down. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't, shoot ten. Senpai! Senpai, can you hear me? No, Mash. I'm dead. <laughs> there you have it. Miss Sarah has fallen into a deep coma. Yay, I'm dead! No. She was thoroughly examined but nothing was found to be amiss. If anything, she appears to be the picture of health. Yet, she will not wake up. Great! Not even all the healing-focused casters in Caldia working together are able to open her eyes. Great, I am just dead. And according to Mash, this is not the first time Master has succumbed to such a coma. Are we talking about the Dante's incident? I think? When this happened before, I believe the cause lay with... I knew it! Yeah, we're talking about the Dante's incident! <laughs> yeah! Oh, my apologies. Ultimately, the King of Mages was responsible for that, of course. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Uh. Though you were certainly complicit, you were not the sole cause of the problem, nor are you the sort of man to repeat the same crime twice. Nonetheless, couldn't help but suspect that you might know a thing or two about this. Silence. Keep prattling on, and we'll burn you to ash from the inside out. Do not speak to me. I have no interest in whatever you have to say. I knew it was Holmes! Okay, just keep your mouth shut, Holmes. I knew it was him talking. Quite a shame. That I thought we might find common ground as gentlemen who share a fondness for tobacco. Very well, then. I shall refrain from further conversation. I was merely hoping you might be able to help contain this situation. But I shall respect your wishes and do without your cooperation. However, as this matter concerns Caldia's sole master, it is of, it is of utmost importance. As such, I shall be continuing my investigation. Do what you will. It is no concern of mine. Love you, Dante's. Bye. There we go. That should have him helping out in earnest. It's a shame that things have come to this. But now that they have, everything depends upon all of us doing our best. And... Of course, upon Miss Sarah's own battle. Great! I'm gonna die! Well, that was interesting. Of a opener there. Oh, okay. So no parallel world. Stage of Carnage Shimosa. Seven duels of Swordmasters. Interesting. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Let's do it! Open my eyes! Where am I? <laughs> you see a blue sky stretching, stretching out above you. Sitting up. <laughs> Where am I? Hello? Hello? Huh? Already awake. I thought you'd be out for at least another day. I don't know who's talking, so... Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, no, sorry. Why do I say the first thing that comes to mind? Okay, then. To make up for that... Let me tell you what's going on. Seeing as it's such a nice day, 
I decided this was a good time and place to eat. I unwrapped my meal, uh, and was just getting ready to eat when you suddenly fell from the sky. I caught you, purely on instinct. But in the process, my rice bell fell into the dirt! But anyway... I tried calling to you and slapping you awake, but you were out like a lantern. So I figured I was in for a day of waiting around here to keep an eye on you. But then you just win woke up on your own, like Yajirobe, bae. I see your luck is still as strong as ever. Or maybe Lady Kanon has taken you under her protection. Anyway, let me introduce myself again. I'm Musashi. That's right. I'm Shinmen Musashi no Kami, Fujiwara no Harum Nobu. Dang, I tried to say that all in one breath, but I couldn't. But you can just call me Musashi, like you did before. Let me see if I can do it. Hold on. Okay. Shimen Musashi no Kami Fujiwara no Harunobu. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's been a long time, Sarah. I'm so glad we were able to see each other again. It's good to see you too, Musashi. It's good to see you. Even though I already have you in my Chaldea, but... Okay, cool. Good to see you, girl. You're cool. I like you. I like Musashi. She's cool. Well, I like the music. Very Japanesey. Look at this map. Okay. All right. Well, let's begin. Rice field. All right. What can we choose? <laughs> of course. So here's this thing that makes you do this. Oh. Really? You have to just use Musashi for this? Well, damn. I thought. All right. That's stupid. I, I remember now. Prima Cantia Purgato beginning, whatever that said, I don't know. Really? You have to just use Musashi? What? Why? I mean, I guess because, yeah, like story reasons, I get it, but anyway. Thanks for filling me in. I think I've got the lay of the land now. So basically, you don't know where you are or how you got here. Well, I went to a coma like state, but you know. Usually, you've got a thing that lets you talk to your comrades. But for some reason, you can't do that right now. Yeah, because this is all happening inside my brain, I guess. Or something, I don't know. And to top it all off, you can't be totally sure that this isn't all a dream. That about it? Um, it's just like the first time we met. Oh, back on Onigashima. I've actually crossed a few more worlds since then, but never mind that now. Did you get over your dizzy spells? Okay, I can trust your story then. The last thing you remember, you were still in your own world, back in Chaldea, and bam, next thing you know, you're waking up here. I can't say for sure whether you're dreaming or not. I have heard stories about people's spirits leaving their bodies while they dream. Some puppeteer with glasses once told me that while it was extremely rare to travel to other worlds while dreaming, it does happen occasionally. Uh, something like that is going on with Shiki. <laughs> well, that was an interesting line to add into that, so we'll go with that. At any rate, even I'm surprised by how far off the beaten path your life takes you. You think? Sure! It makes me feel closer to you than ever before! It's great to finally have someone to talk to who really gets me! And since we have so much in common, I'll be glad to help make sure you wake up from this dream safely. My best guess, you probably are dreaming, but at the same time, this world also really exists. At least, I think it does. So if you end up dying here before you wake up, you'll probably end up dead for real. Great, you die in the dream, you die in real life. Well, damn it. I've seen people die to curses. Seen stuff like that more than a few times. So as Musashi no Kami, I hear I offer to serve you, uh, serve as your grand, as your guard. Why did I say grand? I don't know. I can't read. Uh, as your guard until this thing, uh, blows over. 
Sometimes I get ahead of myself when I read and I think I'm reading words and then it's like, that's not the word, you stupid. Okay. <laughs> it's been so long since I've said something like that. Makes me feel kind of silly. Somebody even trusted a ruffian like me to look after a plot of land once. If you can believe that. Don't worry. I've pretended a fair few others over the years. So just relax and let me handle everything. In fact, to be honest, I just came here a day ago myself. So I've been a little nervous about exploring this place on my own. Um, so you mean you got lost and ended up here too? Yup, though I'm not nearly as out of place as you are. The air is kind of different here, but this is still the Japan I know. <laughs> that said, I'm afraid I don't know anything more about what's going on than you do. Sorry about that. I've bounced around all kinds of worlds, but it seems that I can't go back to worlds I've been to before. I'm always getting called Stranger and World Drifter and other stuff like that wherever I go, so I'm pretty much always starting from scratch. A lot of the time, I get rough types getting in my face and picking fights and stuff. Sometimes it gets me so riled up I can't control myself. But with you here with me, I'm sure you'll talk me down from doing anything foolish. Lady Kanon mu uh, Kanon must have had a, a hand in this bit. I mean, you ended up here just after you were talking about me, right? It must be fate. Well, this is fate, Grand Order, after all. Haha. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad you're here with me. Let's find out what's up with this place together. We'll look for a way to get you back to your own world. And a way for me to keep going with my journey. Um. <laughs> I'm glad you're here too, too cute, Musashi. Okay, now that we're all caught up, let's say we get moving. From the look of things around here, I can say for sure we're in Japan. I guess somewhere in the center of the country? Let's start by seeing what's over in that direction. If we're lucky, We'll find a village. And if we're unlucky, well, we should still find a river. Let's go. Woohoo! With Musashi. Well, we've been walking for an hour. And so far, the only thing we've found is a bunch of Jizo statues. Still, I bet it won't be much longer now until we find a village. Trust me, that's usually how it goes. Oh, are you okay, Sarah? Did you want to take a break? I must have been walking pretty quickly. Um, <laughs> this is nothing compared to America. This is nothing compared to Onigashima. Um, kind of, I can see how you, because America was like across all the shit. Um, probably this is nothing compared to America. Huh? You mean you've crossed that whole continent? That's amazing. You I got tired just crossing the west, uh, I, bleh. Even I got tired just crossing the western part of it. Still, you know what America is like, huh? The country is really huge. Although, <laughs> if you can handle that much land, that means you can also handle me dragging you around a kind of rough. A, a, a kind of rough? Okay, right? Anyway... I guess I should save my energy and just hush a bit, huh? So let's take it nice and easy uh, while we walk. Luckily, the sky is a beautiful blue today. I'm still hungry since I lost my rice ball, but I can make do as long as the sky is nice and blue like this. You sure do like blue skies, don't you, Musashi? I do. America's sky was beautiful, too, but there's just something about it here that I really love. Like it has a kind of depth to it. No, that's not right. If anything, this sky seems more pa 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 palliable? Palli palliable? Yeah. America's sky was so pretty you could feel your thoughts emptying out as you looked at it, but not this sky. 
feels like it could pull you into it, to a point where it's actually kind of scary. That's one of the things I love about it. I guess a part of that has to do with the memories of watching as a child, though. <laughs> We're gonna find a village? We still walking. Hey, I can sense someone. Looks like we got lucky when someone's coming this way. I wonder if they're from around here? This should work out well. We can ask them everything we want to know. Oh, hey! It's a girl and a baby. Hi there! What are you two doing in the rice fields? The baby is ugly. <laughs> I can tell you're not from around here. Are you travelers? Where did you come from? That's right! I'm a traveling swordsman! A uh, swordswoman! And the fact we understand each other just goes to show that this really is Japan. I can't easily explain where I came from, but I was born in a town called Ohara in the Mimasaka province. Have you heard of it? It's home to Kenmitsu Temple. Uh, I mean, never mind. Uh, I guess that doesn't matter. Yeah, what era of Japan are we in right now, by the way? <laughs> I'm Musashi. Miyamoto Musashi. My real name is a bit longer than that, but that'll do for now. What about you, miss? What's your name? It's so nice of you to help out by watching that baby. Is he your little brother? Are you his big sister? Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh! You're a woman samurai, and you're so pretty! Oh gosh, oh gosh! Your costume is really pretty too! Are you from Edo? Huh? M me pretty? Did you hear that, Sarah? She called me pretty! Uh... Is it really a costume, though? <laughs> yeah, I know. I knew what she meant. I like this kimono a lot myself, after all. You're right. I should have known a wild woman going around swinging two katana like me would never be pretty to anyone. Anyway, thank you for the compliment. Uh... Oh, uh, my name's Onui, and this is my little brother, Tasuke. Tasuke, whatever. Kukuka! Kukuka! <laughs> That's what he sounds like. Kukuka! Uh, ew. I hate babies. Uh, oh, you're a little good boy, aren't you, Tasuke? Wow, Sarah. I didn't know you were so good with babies. I'm impressed. I like babies. Oh, and kids too. I don't. They kind of gross me out, to be honest. Babies. Kids. <laughs> but I'm just no good at looking after them. Whenever they cry, I end up wanting to cry with them. Whenever they cry, they annoy the shit out of me. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Oh, do we? You mentioned Nano, right? It sounds like a major city. Okay, so... What time period are we in? That would put us in the same time period I was in before, during the Tokugawa Shogunate's reign. Okay, okay. I see where, where we are now, I think. Uh, the Edo... Edo period? Question mark. Is that what you call it in your time? Huh, interesting. Are you going to Edo, Miss Samurai? Or to Toki Castle? Toki Castle? Uh-huh. If that's where you're headed, it's just a half a day's walk along the highway. That would make this, uh... That would mean this is Kazu Province. So we must be in the eastern part of the country. No, this is the Shimosa Province. Oh, title drop, roll credits, let's go home. Is that so? Hmm. There's a really big town all around the castle. It's much bigger than our village. Wait, huh? Hold on. I could have sworn that Toki Castle was in Kazusa, and that it was abandoned during the to 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 Toyotami Toyo reign. Bleh. 
I don't remember it being big enough to have its own town, either. This is all very different than I remember. Say, Onui, Lord Tokugawa is the ruler of Edo, right? That's right. His name is Tokugawa Le... Le... Something... Oh, Limitsu! His name is Tokugawa Limitsu. Gah, gah! So this is Limitsu's reign. Even so, Toki Castle should still be in Kazusa. And still be abandoned to boot. Hmm, maybe this is part of that. Uh, part of what? The situation, I assume? Sometimes, the history of worlds I wander into differs slightly from the history of my own world. That's probably what's going on here. How about in your time? Is Toki Castle uh, part of Kazusa? Was it a proper castle even during the Tokugawa raid? Uh, uh, I'm gonna go with definitely probably no. I mean, I don't know, but eh? Honestly, I should have known better than to ask that. But I'm impressed you answered it so quickly. You really know your history, don't you? Eh, I don't know much Japanese history, to be honest. At any rate, this is good. We know that this is the Tokugawa raid under Tokugawa Lemitsu, and that we're somewhere in the Shimo uh, Shimosa province. This girl was pretty quick and confident in her answers, so there's no reason to doubt her. I think we've made a lot of progress. Things are going well, so it, it almost seems wrong. Usually I end up having to fend off burglars before I meet a single decent person. Hell, most of the time I have to cross mountains before I even learn the name of whatever place I happen to cross. You have some incredibly bad luck, don't you? I know, right? More often than not, the only people who talk to me are bandits. Good thing for me that you're here this time, Sarah. You're hungry, aren't you? <laughs> oh! How is my stomach growling? I guess that's what happens when you haven't eaten anything for two whole days straight. Say, Onui, is there a tea house anywhere around here? There's a tea house on the other side of the village. Oh, but my grandma's hermitage, hermitage is a lot closer. I guess that's how you say that. I don't know. That's where Tusuke and I come from. Came from. Goo 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 gaga. Say, pretty samurai lady, weird kimono lady. <laughs> weird kimono. I guess this would look real weird, weird to you. Would you two like to come to my grandpa's hermit? Hermitage? I don't know. I can make you tea. You know, you know how to make tea, don't we? So you know how to do housework as well as watch your brother, huh? What a responsible young girl you are. I'm proud of you. Um, anyway, please follow me in. Hello? Thunderstorm? Hmm, I know this feeling. Thunderstorm? Okay, thunderstorm. There wasn't a cloud in the sky a moment ago. There are monsters nearby. Honui! Get away from the cute girl in the weird com- I mean, get away from Sarah! You called me cute. Uh, I love you. <laughs> oh gosh, oh gosh! The sky went all dark! Is this- Wah, wah! There, there, it's so- There, there, it's okay, Tosuke. Nothing to be afraid of. Well, maybe a little. It'll be okay. Uh, you're right. There's nothing to be afraid of. We have, we have... Well, that's a little terrifying. Ah! That voice. That's not the kind of voice any child should have to hear. Unui, I want you to close your eyes and plug your ears. Children might see ghosts sometimes, but they should never have to see a real monster. Especially not during Limitsu's reign. Widespread war should be gone by this period. 
children shouldn't have to see people dying to your bodies being torn apart. For that matter, they shouldn't have to see me using my swords either. <sighs> uh, I don't like that voice, it creeps me out. Looks like my luck is just as terrible as ever. Running into the mountains at night is one thing. But if they're showing up in broad daylight, things must be really bad in this time period. You there, evil spirit. I want to ask what, who or what you are, or why you lost your way in the first place. I'm no monk. I have no desire to hear your grudge or chant a prayer for you. If you just be here and now, I wouldn't even raise my katana against you. But if you turn those rotting eyes of yours to the living, all bets are off. I especially won't have you looking at Onui or Tasuke. Musashi no Kami, will you help us? Of course. This evil spirit is made of pure bloodlust. If I don't take care of it, the children's lives can be endangered. Or, for that matter, your life. I'll fight with you. I can back you up. That's great to hear. You haven't changed a bit, Sarah. I knew I could trust you. No, more than that. You truly deserve respect, after all. She moved to protect the children before I even said anything. Whereas my first move was to take on my katana. Oh well, it is who I am. No sense feeling bad about it. I'm a swordsman, so I may as well act like one. I'm perfectly fine facing down evil spirits. Since the sun isn't keeping you at bay, I'll just have to do it myself. The path of the void demands that souls devoid of flesh be cut away from this world. With my two katana, I shall do just that. Okay, this will be interesting now that we only have to use her as a thing. That's gonna be kind of hard. Oh, lordy. I have to just use Musashi only. Uh, let's not continue that trend, though. And she's only level 70? <laughs> She's only level 70, but I mean, they're only level 30, so we should be okay. Oh, come on, Musashi. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's get this guy. So we can take care of that one. Please, at least kill this one. Thank you. Make my life easier. Alright. It's kind of stupid. I don't see- I don't get why they did this for the- I mean, from a story standpoint, I get it, but it's also kind of stupid, you know? Like, I get it, but it's kind of stupid. But okay. Whoa, that's new. The other ones were new too, now I think about it. Okay. Go ahead and use her NP. There we go. Perfect. I mean, it's doable, but it's just, I feel like it's kind of silly to do it this way. But, whatever. Oh, yay, I got one of those things. Good. I need those for Tomoe. I mean, Archer of Inferno. Ah, at this point, people don't really know her name. Anyway. Uh. Are Sky and Evil Spirits connected somehow? It looks like the spirits are all gone now. Wow, I can't believe it. That was amazing. You're so strong, Miss Samurai. At first I thought those were ghosts, but since you were able to get rid of them, and you're not a monk, I wonder if they were actually bandits or burglars or something. 
Oh, God. Oh, yeah. They did say that. I remember. Back when Mom and Dad were still alive. I see. So they're orphans. They always said to be careful at night. Because lots of bad things show up then. I don't remember if Mom and Dad said anything about shadowy things showing up when it gets really cloudy. And I know they told us that's what happens at night. Grandpa said so too. Grandpa. Now I see. So they still have a grandfather. He sounds very kind too. Hmm. Although... I still don't know why bandits showed up here when it's not even night. They didn't look like bandits to me. What about you? Uh, same. They didn't look like bandits at all. Right. Either way, now we know they show up so often that they get mistaken for bandits. So there's a castle that's not supposed to be here. And evil spirits stalking fields like wild animals. I've wandered into time periods like that before, but this one seems especially dangerous. It looks to be as bad as Onigashima, where we first met, or even worse. Anyway, for now, let's go pay Onui's house a visit. I'm still hungry, and we have to get her Tus and Hasuke back home safely. Indeed we do. Let's do that. Woohoo. Yatta. Okay. Let's go. Let's just jump right into the next part. Okay, good. Wait, well, there's an unknown, but um, I don't know who it would be. Uh, we'll probably just stick with Musashi. Yeah, we'll stick because it's... Ooh, yeah. I think we'll just stick with Musashi. Well... Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Hopefully. <laughs> Those dark things don't show up in Grandpa's hermitage or village. Not even at night. I'd never even seen one before. You hadn't either, right, Tosuke? Goga! See? Okay. That may be what Onoe told us. Onoe, whatever. But here comes another one. But things might be different from what she's used to now. First it got dark again. There are definitely more monsters nearby too. Why are so many evil spirits in this, in this Edo period? Seriously, what's going on here anyway? It's Muzan from Demon Slayer. It's all his fault. The nerve of these things, making me look bad by showing up right, uh, right after I say they've all been taken care of. Oh. Blame it on Muzan Kibutsuchi, or however you say his name. And if that wasn't bad enough, oh. there's more of them. Right. Okay, there's even more of them now. Uh, if only I could summon servants. Hmm? Oh, I thought it was strange that no one else had showed up yet. Is that technique of yours not working right now or something? Well, if not, that's fine. It keeps things nice and simple. I may be so hungry, I'm about to collapse, but I still have an example to set. This time. I'll make sure to cut them down to such a small size they'll ne that they'll never come back again. Sarah, get down! Oh, okay, who dead? Hello? Let's see, let's see. It looks as though I've materialized in this world for reasons unknown. Now I find myself in Shimosa. Couldn't believe my eyes when I saw monsters just appearing and attacking people left and right whenever the sky grew dark. So whenever I found one, I ripped them to shreds with my spear. And now, after traveling the land and destroying numberless scores of them, 
I find myself in the presence of a beautiful swordsman, accompanied by a child, a baby, and a young woman dressed in strange clothing. Pray tell, how did this come to be? Whoa, who is this guy? He obliterated those spirits with just a single thrust of his spear. The way he holds his spear, his gait, his torso, his build, his breathing. Compared to him, those spirits might as well have been kittens. Musashi? Oh well, guess I'd better say something. I can tell you're a skilled fighter from the way you mowed down those spirits with a single spear strike. Are you the powerful warrior I've been hearing about? Well now, well now. I wasn't expecting you to answer my question with a question of your own. A powerful warrior? Hmm. It seems I'm one of the heroic spirits that have left their mark on humanity. But I still find that hard to believe. I find quite a bit of knowledge has been stuffed into this head of mine. But none of it answers any truly important questions. For what purpose was I summoned here? Where is the one who summoned me? I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing! For the moment, I shall tell you my name. I'm Hozuin Ishun. Inshun, whatever. I've studied both Buddhism and the spear directly under Master Inne, the founder of the founder of Hozuin style Sojutsu. A heroic spirit! Yay! Right you are! Thanks for saying so, young one. I'm indeed Hozuin Ishun, and merely passing by. So you're a monk? Wow, you're even stronger than those dark bandits. Goo goo ga. Bandits? Were those bandits just now? As near as I could tell, they were nothing more than evil spirits. I think so too. If those are bandits. Then all of Japan would be overrun by... Oh, wait a sec. Did I hear you right? Are you really Inchun? As as in THE Hozuin Inchun? Inchun? I don't know. Inchun? Eh. The strongest Jumonji spear wielder who ever lived? The man who reinstated the Hozuin style Sujitsu after Lord Ine? In Inne passed on? Yeah, names. Names are hard. <laughs> the same Hozuin who skilled with a spear even allowed him to step into the realm of the gods and the Buddha himself. Uh, yes, I believe I'm that Inshun. Uh, I've certainly never gone by any other name. What about you? It is rare to see a woman carrying a, a katana, and they do not appear to be mere decoration. This feeling you impart. You do not possess the unique air of heroic spirit, but I cannot help but sense something familiar about you. I see. You are a swordsman. Familiar, huh? I... I've never managed to meet him before. In all my travels across different timelines of Japan, I never once came across Lord Inshin while he was still alive. He is an unparalleled genius with the spear, so much so that other warrior monks, who ordinarily have no interest in who's, who, who the strongest of them is, uh, talked about him in hushed, even reverent tones. I never imagined I would finally end up meeting him in a place like this. Still... Yeah. Right now, Sarah and the other two come first. My own interest can wait until later. Let me thank you once again for your help earlier. I was incredibly impressed by your skill with the spear. There can be no doubt that you are the Hozuin Inshun. Inshun, whatever. The star people of the Hozuin School of Sojutsu. A warrior monk who's said to be invincible once he takes up his Jumonji spear. Although... I was under the impression that you would be qu would be quite a bit older in this time period. Hmm? Ah, is that why you weren't sure about me? 
I apologize for that. There's a very good reason why I'm younger than you expected. It's because I'm a servant. Servant? Oh, you mean the kind of servant Sarah talks about sometimes. I believe she described them as shadows of the figures of, from fiction and history that materialize in this world to aid her in battle. Hmm, I see. So you're one of those then? Indeed. Thus I can see why you may be on your guard, as we servants are not exactly everyday occurrences. But you are hardly without blame either. I heard you rattling your sword, attempting to provoke my ear. I cannot commend your actions. Had those children not been present, I would have already answered such prov provocation. Whatever. Sorry about that. It's a habit of mine. Whenever I meet an opponent who seems formidable, I end up goading them into a duel. But I guess I missed my chance thanks to you. Seems like now's not the best time to compare skills. I see. That is at once fortunate, and very much the opposite. I, too, have no wish to kill a swordsman who can be reasoned with. Well, all the more, if she is she is as beautiful as you are. I may be sore to, sworn to celibacy, but that would still be a terrible shame. I agree. After seeing that smile, I'd like it if we could be friends. I'm sorry for not properly introducing myself earlier. I'm Miyamoto Musashi. As you can see, I'm indeed a traveling swordsman. I'm sorry. Did you say Musashi? That's right, Musashi. Musashi! Guga! Haha, <laughs> Miyamoto Musashi, eh? As in Shinmen Musashi no Kami for Jawara no Harunobu. <laughs> yup, that's me! Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ha, ha! Ha, 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 ha! Now I see! <laughs> I had no idea that the famous Musashi was a woman! Forgive me for laughing like that. It was very rude of me. I was just really surprised. What a strange twist of history. I've spent my life walking both the paths of, of the Buddha and the spear. But nothing prepared me for the surprises that this new hollow life would have in store. What a great pleasure this has been to have my expectations up upturned like. Wait, wait, this is wrong! You're a far cry from the Musashi I know! You there, young lady! You know who Musashi is supposed to be, right? Uh, I know what you mean. Hmm, this is just like what happened when I first met you, Sarah. What's with me from the other worlds? What's with the me from the other worlds? Anyway, I'm afraid I don't have any other way to explain it. Explain it. I just happen to be a Musashi who's a little different from the one you're familiar with. I see. Indeed. I do have some familiarity with Shinmen Musashi, at the very least. I can say with confidence that he was not a woman. So you saw each other naked. Okay. Could it be that you inherited his name? I doubt he had a daughter, but might you perhaps have been his disciple at one point? My father was Shinmen Munsai. Come to think of it, I guess he was technically my master, too. I see. Yep. Then you say you truly are Shinmen Musashi. Lord, I thought I already said so. Um, I don't want to explain because I thought it might be confusing. But I think I'm actually from a different history. Uh, really, a different world than the one you all know. Do you get what I mean? different history. If you had told me that while I was alive, I probably would have said you were speaking nonsense. But now, hmm. Very well then, Lady Musashi. Let me ask you this. Are you familiar with one Takada Matabe? 
You mean Matame uh, Matabe, the spearman? How do you know about... Oh, right. Come to think of it. He studied Hozuin style sojutsu, didn't he? Uh, I think that was when we fought. He had already opened his own school. Anyway, what about him? Takeda Matabe and I studied under the same master. And Matabe claimed he had crossed swords with Shinmen Musashi. In which case... Hmm... Uh, I've got a bad feeling. There we go. Demons. Moves on! <laughs> Looks like your instincts were right on the mark, Sarah. Way to go. Tch, tch. Whatever happened to the rule of law in this land? Nonetheless, this is a good opportunity. Musashi, we can merely talk about this all we want to no avail. But as warriors... We have other, far clearer ways to communicate than words, al words alone. Indeed. I'd hate to be taken lightly just because I've got the thin arms. You're more hard-headed than you seem, aren't you, Lord Chin? I suppose now is good a time as, uh, good a time as any to prove uh, who I am with my swords. We can only proceed so far with the doubts fogging our minds. As such, there's only one path left to us. All right, Lord Inshin, why don't you take the right side? Shall we say whoever slaughters the most spirits is the winner? I heartily agree. That quick thinking is indeed the Shimen Musashi I know. Was that appearance so this lawless? Huh? What's going on? Onui, want you to stick close to Sarah again. Make sure you don't move from her side. Okay. Goo goo ga? You're such a good little boy, Tasuke. Don't cry now. This will all be over soon. I hate that noise. There you are, evil spirits. Just this once, I'm glad you don't know when to give up. Heh. <laughs> such ferocity. Most men would soil their pants at the sight of such creatures. <laughs> Yet you are in a fight. At this point, I'm already willing to believe you are who you say you are, but I'll be damned if I miss this chance to compare our skills firsthand. You there, young lady, make sure you keep a careful track of who, which of us defeats more spirits. Sure. Musashi wins. Calling it now because I'm using her in battle. Duh. <laughs> <sighs> All right. We'll do that. When can I use my own people, though? I want to use my own people. Okay, go ahead and pop that. I just wonder when I'll be able to use my own people, because, like, uh <laughs> I'd like to use my own people, it'd be great. What do we got? Okay. Uh, let us... Try to get rid of some of these guys. Then we're gonna do that. And we got one left. All right, let's go ahead and fire off the NP. I wonder how difficult this would be if I picked the other guy. Hozuin. Probably not that bad, but he doesn't have an MP that attacks if I remember correctly, so it'd be a little more difficult. Awesome, we did it. Alright. 
Moving on. Oh, I want to... No, give me more of the silver thingies. Need silver thingies for my girl. My gamer girl. Okay. Death. This is it! Not yet it isn't! Yay, they're all dead. Huh. <sighs> I guess you really can, can't put a stock in any rumors. Unparalleled with the spear. Does it come close to dodge doing your skill justice? It would be an insult to call you the greatest of all time. Every thrust of your spear, every sweep, every strike, every slash would be ult would be ultimate fishing blows for any other fighter. Finishing. I don't know why I said fishing. <laughs> Just gonna use my spear to fish, guys. Blah, 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 blah. To be honest, watching you fight up close gave me chills. It was so beautiful I could hardly believe it. No one at any point in Japan's history has ever wielded a spear with such absolute perfection. The depth of your mindfulness and technique, the way your spear cut through the air with only the the bare minimum damn it. Bare minimum distance required. The sheer mastery of your form with not a single movement wasted. I still have a long way to go in comparison. Incredible. You win, no doubt about it. It has been an honor to witness your skill up close, Lord Inshin. Seriously, that was awesome! The heir to the Hosewing School was even greater than I had imagined! I see. So this is how I seem to you, eh? In that case, I think I can finally accept this. Oh, I don't mean your identity. I mean myself as a so-called servant. To be honest, even after I learned about her experience and servants, I was unsure whether I was fit to be one myself. But if a sword man of your caliber has submitted feet, I can accept that I am worthy to be a heroic spirit. I am the one who should be thanking you, Shinman Musashi. You have proven to beyond, beyond all doubt how capable women warriors can be. He called you Masashi. So he did. He even thanks me, even though I don't deserve it. Lord Inchun is truly as great as the spear he wields. I appreciate that, but I can set the record straight about one thing. Just because I've declared you the victor doesn't mean I've lost. Isn't that right, Sarah? I never said I had lost, did I? Uh, well, no, you didn't. I see. Yes, now that you mention it, you're right. The Musashi I know would never really admit defeat. Indeed, you are without a doubt Shinmen Musashi. Both your skills and your speech prove it. And that's the second time. It seems our contest to see whether I'm truly Musashi has been settled as well. Yep, that was twice. You said Shimen Musashi twice! So you agree she's Musashi then? <laughs> I see, I see! So I've called you that twice, have I? Well done. I may, have not, I may have won our contest of skill, but it seems I've lost in what truly mattered. I don't recall ever refusing to acknowledge you for who you are, but let me make it official. Magnificently played, Lady Musashi. Now, at last, I know what kind of situation I've found myself in. I am a servant who has been summoned to this place. And that young lady there is one few uh, in this time who knows what servants are. If it is not fate, then nothing is. Please, will you tell me everything you can about yourselves? I may hope be Hosui, but I have no idea as to who summoned me here. All right, cool. That's a thing. Hmm, I see. Chaldea, is it? I'm afraid I understood. Uh, 
Perhaps, sorry, I got distracted. No! I'm afraid I miss. I understood perhaps of half of what you told me at best. Lady Misashi, uh, but I understand what Sarah had to say well enough. I have no connection to this Caldeo place whatsoever. Therefore, it must be an inhuman being who has appeared here for some other reason. You're not human? Uh, um, they're like extra amazing people. Amazing people? And they're samurai? But Mr. Inshun is a monk, isn't he? Ha ha ha. That I am. No matter what else I may be, I shall always be a monk. Okay. I understand that you're the same kind of person as the people Sarah summoned the last time we met. But is there someone controlling you? Or did you just pop right out of the grave all on your own? I'm not undead. Although I suppose the art that summoned me as a black uh, is as black as those created that create the undead. So perhaps we are more similar than I would like. At any rate, as far as I can remember, I materialized here as a lancer about two days ago. I have no idea whether or not I have a master. All I know is that where I, when I came to, I was standing alone at the edge of the Katori Shrine Grounds. I was given very little knowledge during during my summoning. Knowledge, but... I know only that this is the 16th year of Kane, uh, in which Tokugawa Limitsu reigns, and that we are in the Shimosa province. In modern times, that puts us in the Chiba Prefecture. Chiba Prefecture? Chiba Prefecture? Indeed. I know where we are and when we are, but nothing more. Again, I have no idea whatsoever as to why I was summoned to begin with. Nonetheless, when I came to, I had an ominous per premonition. The hairs on my back, the uh, back of my neck stood up, wanting me to not remain a moment longer. Muzan, 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 it's Muzan. <laughs> He's the villain. So I left Katori Shrine and wandered around, slaying the spirits that appeared at night and when the sky grew dark. And that's when you met us, eh? Glad you made it here safe and sound, Lord Inchin. I mean, you've been walking around these mountains and fields for a whole two days without anything to eat or drink, right? I've done that myself at times, so I know how hard it is. Especially since... Especially since that's the exact same situation I'm in right now myself. I really need to eat something before my stomach turns itself inside out. You do? I have some water in my bamboo flask. I'm sorry I don't have anything else, Mr. Monk. Go, go. But if you come to my grandpa's hermit, we can treat you to rice balls. That is most kind of you, but worry not. This form of mind is fleeting, transient. I have no need of food or drink. Feel free to drink the water yourselves. Uh oh, is she going to cry? No, oh, on second thought, it appears I spoke too soon. There is no creature on earth that does not get thirsty, after all. In fact, I just realized how thirsty I am. Very well, Onui. I gladly accept your kind offer. Okay. There we go. But man, that's unbelievable. I can't imagine being able to fight after going an entire day without a drop of water. That is merely what it means to be a heroic spirit. Or a servant. For that matter, you seem fully capable of much the same feat yourself. Yeah, I guess so. I just think it's amazing how you never get hungry. Uh, there may be a Holy Grail somewhere in Shimosa. Holy Grail? It is a goblet associated with Western Saints, an object said to der be derived from great cauldrons used by ancient foreign gods. They possess immense power and are capable of granting wishes and performing miraculous feats with ease. In essence, they are omnipotent wish granters. With all these wicked creatures running rampant, 
It is indeed possible that uh, there is a holy grail here. In my mind. <laughs> Apparently. Or whatever's going on, really. Someone may have obtained it, and may be using it, uh, using its power to bring those creatures into this world. Muzon has it, doesn't he? <laughs> Muzon has the holy grail confirmed. If that's the case, I have to do something. Hmm. You have to do something, huh? That would mean going home a lot later. Are you okay with that? Not really, but I still have to do something. So the needs of the many and all that, huh? You're so young. Yet you're already separating your own problems from the ones of those around you. I guess I've got no choice but to stick around and help you out then. I can't very well be the only one not bothering, uh, one not bothering because it sounds like too much trouble after you've gone and said something like that after all. As they say, we don't meet people by accident. They're meant to cross our paths for a reason. Er, or maybe we've come too far to turn back now is better here. This thing presumably causes, causing trouble is called a holy grail, right? So if there's someone here up to no good with it, you just need to teach them a lesson before heading back to Caldia, right? Uh, you mean you'll help me, Musashi? Of course I will! Besides, I love helping out cuties like you. If anything, I've been wanting, waiting for you to ask. If you're okay with my help, I'll gladly stick with you to the end. Truly are different from the Musashi I know in many ways. He would never uh, help anyone for free. Oh, my apologies. I do not mean to imply that you were either a man or an imposter. You are your own Miyamoto Musashi, with your own in intimidable Nitin Ichiru swordsmanship. Yep, that word. That aside, young Sarah. Your fortitude is most impressive, especially given your age. Uh, it's just harder to look the other way. I see. You are a good person, I can't, and a hearty one at that. I can see why you and Lady Musashi get along so well. It is wonderful to see. Wonderful? Hey, what are you all talking about? Oh, just morning grown-up talk. No, no need to worry about it if you didn't understand. Oh, okay. At any rate, it's terrible that someone has seen fit to summon monsters here. Especially after the Tokugawa reign only just brought Japan's period of war to an end. I don't, want, don't know what it is they're after, but they must have a lot of time on their hands. S still too soon to say anything, for certain, but I wouldn't rule it out. God, this chapter's long. Regardless, transcendent form or not, um, the fact remains that I've come back to life. As such, I must use my spirit to help those suffering from these circumstances beyond their control. I believe that, too, to be nothing less than the reason why I was given new life. But if I am being truth fully truthful, there is another, more selfish reason. I now have another chance to wield my spear, and there is no better target than to use it on these creatures plaguing innocent people. Is that so? <laughs> You're so honest. <laughs> I get that a lot. At any rate, there are matters we must discuss, Musashi. Sarah? We do not know if you two have some connection to these creatures plaguing Shimosa. Or if your presence here is mere coincidence. However, after speaking with you and fighting by your side, I've made up my mind. I see that you are worthy of my trust. As such, I won't insist that you accompany me, but I would suggest that we begin by getting Onui and Tasuke back to his, this hermitage place safely. We can plan our next move after that. Is that acceptable? Good point. We might run to more monsters. I was already planning to continue walking with Sarah and take Onui and Tasuke home. Okay, Lord Inchun. It may be only for a short while, but I'm glad to have you accompanying us all the same. 
Likewise. God, that chapter was long. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, that was a long chapter. Ah, okay. We're definitely ending the Let's Play here because I don't even know if you guys have made it this far. Um, because <laughs> my watch time or these are not good. But I hope you guys enjoyed this part. This is so far very interesting. And next time, we will touch mid-road. So, see you guys then. Alright, bye!